guys welcome back to electrophone and this time we have got detail unboxing after a very long time so make sure to watch it till the end so this time we have got a brand new poco f3 gt which was just launched recently and it is kind of a true successor to poco f series because after poco f1 this is the only phone which has got launched so now let's begin with it on the box up front you can see a simple branding of poco f3 gt over here on the back we have got some details like the processor name dimensity 1200 uh, display type uh, kind of a speaker which is there in the phone a type of a charger we are getting and on this side we get the basic poco f3 gt branding on the top we get the details of the specs and the price so let's just quickly cut the seals and unbox the device so till the time we are just cutting the seals you can just click on the subscribe button so that you never miss another video from our channel now let's just open up the box so when we have just open up the box we have got another box over here with a poco, poco same branding let's just open this box as well you got a sim ejector tool some documentation let's just keep it aside uh, you get a usb type c to 3.5 mm jack because this phone lacks a 3.5 mm adapter or a sensor and you get a basic clear case i think yeah it's a basic clear case from the poco so it's nice that they have included it now let's just dig more in we have got a device this one is a 8 gb to 56 gb variant in a pre-data black color variant let's just quickly unwrap this device and get rid of the plastic yeah the device is quite bulky compared to the other phones which we have unboxed earlier so let's just keep it aside for the while moving further in uh, we got a massive 67 watt charger it's heavy as well but it's usb type a over here it's 67 watt along with you get a yellow color type c cable now the main speciality of this cable is that it is angled over here or l shape you can say along with cap on it so it doesn't block you while using the phone in a landscape mode or while gaming so let's just keep everything aside and move back to the phone let's just take a quick overview of the device so it's kind of a new design tone from xiaomi let's just put it up and the main feature which we were waiting to test from the start is this button when we slide this button it automatically enables the magnetic trigger as you can see over here and when we unslide it it just goes back it has got some miui boot up going on so now let's get back to the device at the front you can see this is a 6.6 .6 inch full hd plus 120 hertz amoled panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2440 resulting into uh, 395 ppi and having a aspect ratio of 20 is to 9. now it has also got hdr 10 plus display and the main selling point of display is 120 hertz of refresh rate along with 480 hertz of touch sampling rate now both of these features are different basically a refresh rate is for the display and the touch sampling rate is how fast your display responds so while gaming it will give you a level up or a heads up than other users because it has got a 480 hertz of uh, touch sampling rate also it has got a gorilla glass 5 protection on the front as well as on the back so it has got great protection it will not uh, guarantee you that it, your phone cannot be broke but it can uh, impact it can avoid some major damages on your phone now as you can see the device design is quite unique you have already seen the magnetic triggers over here on the right hand side for gaming which is accessible via switch and also you get a power button over here which is quite uh, tacky it has just got inside not to texture it is a plain power button over here now it's also double up as a fingerprint sensor on the other side you get a volume rockers over here you can see volume rockers and also there is some kind of leveling going over here some kind of indent 
which has been present over here yeah so just moving ahead also you can see let's just get over you on the top of the device we have got a speaker grill in a unique uh, fashion we have got a IR sensor we have got a mic along with some antenna lines running over here on the right hand side we have already got the volume rockers some antenna bands also we have got a mic over here so this is the second mic we are seeing now at the bottom of the device we have got a sim card tray we have got a microphone we have got a usb type c another usb uh, micro uh, speaker grill over here. so it is a stereo base speaker and as you can see on the box as well it has been written as hi-res dual stereo speakers and magnetic gaming speaker so let's just boot up this device first now let's just go to the back of the device which is kind of uh, new to us we have got a poco branding at the middle we have got a triple array of camera starting 64 megapixel of main camera along with 8 megapixel of ultra wide and 2 megapixel of macro it has got a maximum resolution of 4k 30 fps in video also it has got some OIS as well we need to check on that that we have got OIS or not so let's just proceed and complete this boot up process setup is complete it will load the app now it has also got a 16 megapixel selfie snapper over here which is in a punch hole design you can see the design is kind of a dot display design from MI and it's kind of nice that they have just uh, placed the sensor over here there is nothing more at the camera side now the mobile uh, mobile has been boot up now let's just move to the another feature of the phone which is just the heart of the phone that is the processor it has got dimensity 1200 series pro processor chipset from mediatek which is a 6 nanometer processor which is in turn will affect you in battery life the battery life will be better in 6 nanometer processor and also the segregation of cores or the separation of cores in this processor in such a way that the performance the gaming and multitasking in this device will be effortless so you won't feel any lag and it is comparatively as compared to uh, snapdragon 870 and above or just below snapdragon triple eight so it has got a flexible level chipset also it has got mali g77 gpu and this process is also capable of 5g band but in india all bands are not supported although 5g is looking in a near future it should be available whenever it can be and now for the gamers the main thing for the gamers it has got the vapor chamber now the liquid cooling or the vapor chamber in the poco f1 we have got the uh, liquid cooling but in poco f3 gt we have got the vapor chamber technology so it will cool the device very quickly and you won't feel any lag or snag while using the device the battery of this phone is 550 65 milliampere which is almost 5000 milliampere but the main discussion which you have already unboxed it is the charger it's a 67 watt charger co claims that it can charge 0 to 142 minutes so that's a nice thing you can just get a 40 minutes of full charge or up to 90 or 99 percent charge in 40 minutes now the software of the poco i don't think uh, let's just see the software of the four poco what they have given us so it has got the miui 12.5.2 out of the box along with it has got android version 11 over here so it will get updated in the future for next two years now the storage of this phone is 8 gb 250 gb the 8 gb ram is based on lp ddr4 and the 256 gb is ufs 3.1 so it has got a great writing speed and transfer files you can do it very quickly now there are two more variants along with this only one variant which has been launched in india which is 6 gb 128 gb variant the other variant is 8 gb 250 gb which we have uh, just right over here and another color variant we have is a gun meta silver now we have just left one more thing to showcase you like over here you can see the dual flash uh, it has got a, some nice flash design also it has got a tactile rgb lightning on the rear end of the camera on the upper and the lower end so we'll just check that out and while charging the phone you can always uh, see the kind of lightning at the behind of the camera so you can know what charging is left in the phone also the display looks quite stunning over here let's just go into the setting and trigger 120 refresh rate so we have got a basic 60 hertz in the start 
so let's just switch up to 120 hertz yeah and it's quite amazing because i in this video but in personal or in on hand device it's quite great also we have got a always on display lock over here so you will get a always on display over the front let's just move into the camera app and let's just see if we can see any lightning so as of now we yeah so overall the device is quite great the design is quite unique as of the, as far as gaming is concerned let's just trigger one more time this maglev triggers yeah so we have got the maglev triggers over here it is quite nice to while doing the game because it fits perfectly and the indent over here which has been there it will shoot you where as well so overall the device is quite great this device has been launched recently at the price range of 28,000 for 8 GB 120 GB variant depending upon when you buy in the first the price was very low now that they have increased the price because they have already segregated the price segment so now this variant uh, is around 31,000 rupees so you can get a deal on it on the other hand in terms of Poco we have the competition for the likes of Nord 2 we have got IQ 7 we have got Realme X7 but I think overall Poco stands out because of the uh, OS, because of the performance, because of the uh, OS it has got, it has got MIUI 12.5 without any ads. Whereas in Nord 2 they have integrated with Oppo Color OS. So I don't think that would be great with Apple, Oppo fan moments or the OnePlus fan boys. So guys, if you are stuck over here till now, let's just give us a like and subscribe to us and, and thanks for watching.